It's Chelsea Messenger with picks and parlays. We're talking college hoops. Uh, a little bit of a rivalry matchup here. North Carolina at North Carolina State. We've got a promo code. The code is HOLIDAY for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. The Wolfpack are favoring this one. Minus one and a half, despite Carolina being the, the, the ranked team. The Tar Heels come in ranked 17th. North Carolina State is not ranked. So immediately a bit of a red flag, seeing the NC State's favored at home, minus one and a half. Total is 144 and a half. Craig, what do you make of the discrepancy between the rankings and the odds makers? Well, you know, in normal year, you'd say, you know, home, field, home court edge. Okay, it's a you know three three or four point home court edge. That's why NC State would be favored. But in COVID years, you know I just think the home court is almost um, worth like a, maybe a point or two now. So it doesn't make any sense to be in favored. And usually when that's the case, I will take the what doesn't make sense. I would be on NC State. But in me in this one, I just don't believe so because North Carolina has played a very very tough schedule. I mean they've played Iowa. Um, they lost uh, Iowa and Texas. Both of these are very good teams. Stanford's a pretty good team. And I mean, you know, and they played Kentucky. And I know Kentucky's struggling, but they looked impressive in the second half against Kentucky. So it doesn't make any sense to me why NC State, because really they haven't played anybody. They played one pretty good team, St. Louis, and they lost. Right. And in that St. Louis game, it looked like they were going to win and cover uh, easily, but or cover easily. I don't think they were favored in that one. Uh, but they absolutely collapsed in the second half. And that's kind of par for the course when you're an NC State fan. That's kind of what NC State likes to do in the second half. Uh, I'm just wondering why the number here, just because NC State, yeah. I believe, was uh, picked to finish eighth in the ACC preseason poll. And granted, this is not a Carolina team that is as good as some of the years past, but uh, I think I'll be probably staying away from them just because – it just seems really fishy to me. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame you for not betting against your alma mater, NC State. But as a better, and I don't have a dog in the fight as far as I didn't go to either one of these schools, not located near them. I just think North Carolina is clearly going to dominate inside. And we've got some recent history where these the road team has dominated the series against the spread. Eight and three against the spread the last 11 meetings head-to-head -head in this series. So road teams have been really good against the spread. I think North Carolina wins outright. You know, I'm not a big Roy Williams uh, fan. I, you know, I think he's cost me a lot of close <laughs> loss covers over the years by his late game bad coaching. But I don't think it's going to matter because I don't. I think North Carolina is going to be up pretty big um, late, so we don't have to worry about Coach Roy Williams late game uh, game calling or anything. So let's take North Carolina plus the short number. If you're looking at the total. I think I would lean towards this over just because we know Roy Williams in North Carolina likes to get it up and down, and I think there'll be a lot of fouls, so I think you'll get a lot of free, throw, uh, free throws from both teams here too. Traditionally, the numbers do not bode well for my Wolfpack. Uh, UNC has won nine of the last ten, covering in eight of those, so it has not been great for the Wolfpack against uh, UNC. I will say NC State does have a nice collection of talent this year. They do have some good players with uh, some high potential, I think. It's just playing the ACC is really tough, uh, especially yep. against North Carolina, which also always has talent. Even if it's not the level of talent that they're used to, used to they still have some guys like Baycott uh, down low that are still uh, legitimate studs when it comes to college basketball. But that's going to do it for our college basketball talk here on Picks and Parlays. Great stuff from Craig Trapp. As always, Craig, thanks for joining us.